Welcome to Dr. Shubh's Kitchen. Today I am going to tell you the one traditional recipe from the Rajasthan and the name is the dal bati. But this bati I am going to make with the different type of the atta and that is uh, which is the masala bati. And this is a very tasty dish. It very yummy and easy to make and you can just enjoy that is traditional recipe. First we make the preparation for the dal and go, then we will go for the making bati. So let's start. For making the dal you can take the one onion, 3-4 garlic cloves, then 3-4 red chilies. And first of all take any katori and with that you take the two parts of the pigeon dal or the tuwar dal, one part of the black udad dal and one part of the masur dal. Clean it and let it soak for 5 to 10 minutes. Clean all the dal and add the water above the 1 inch level and then cook in the cooker. Take a tamarind around the 2 inches and clean it and add the some water and let it get soft. The dal should be enoughly and very nicely cooked so the water should be very adequate otherwise it won't cook very properly and the tamarind also should be cooked uh, should be get very soft so at least soak it for the 10 to 15 minutes add half teaspoon around the turmeric powder to the dal and then keep it in the cooker and almost uh, give the 3 to 4 whistles so that it get the very soft and mushy let the cooker cool completely. You can make it same in the simple vessel also. For making the bati, take two, two proportions of the corn meal, one portion of the wheat flour meal and one portion of the semolina or rava. Add half teaspoon of the turmeric powder 1 teaspoon of the cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon of the carom seed, around 2 teaspoon or according to your taste chili powder, 1 tablespoon of the sesame seeds, add salt according to your taste or at least minimum 1 teaspoon. Add around 4 teaspoon of the ghee or the oil but ghee is preferable to make the shortening so that the bhatis will be crispy inside and flaky also. Mix all ingredients equally and thoroughly so that all the masala will get equally distributed. The one more important tip is that always make the bati with the chilled or the ice cold water. If you, you use the ice cold water for kneading, it will make the flaky type of the batis which is very tasty and the texture also very good. So I have kneaded all the bati, uh, this bati dough by the chill, chilled water and now I will store it in the fridge at least for the 10 to 15 minutes for the resting. The dough should not be too tight or the too smooth. If the dough is too smooth, the bati will be the soggy and if the dough is too tight, it will be the very hard to eat. So the dough consistency should be medium. You just uh, take the care of this. I will cover the dough and rest it for 10 to 15 minutes in the refrigerator. Chop the one onion finely, make the garlic ginger paste and chop the one tomato finely for the seasoning of the dal. Make the small equal round ales from this dough and make the small hole or the depression inside this like this. It won't be the throw and throw but it will be the small depression. It will allow the bati cook evenly. Sometimes what happens? The bati won't cook in the center part so by making such a depression will allow the bati to cook the equally. You can make the small or big size of the bati according to your taste. 
Rest this party for 10 to 15 minutes till the oven or the uh, any type of the vessel uh, like kadhai it can get the uh, preheated. You can apply the oil or ghee externally to all the bar. For baking, heat the big type of the kadhai. Let it preheat for 10 to 15 minutes on the medium heat. Take any type of the stand and keep it in the kadhai. On this stand, we are going to put all the batis later on once the it is preheated for the almost half an hour. Now the my cooker has almost cool for the 20 minutes. It's, it's time to make the tadka for the dal. For this, I will take out the dal from the cooker. Take a pan and add around 1 tablespoon of the oil and let it heat well. By this time, the my handmade cooker or you can say that the oven is ready. Now I will put all the batis one by one in it and let it cook on the one side for 10 minutes after 10 minutes i will flip it again do it on the medium flame once it is flipped again let it dry and cook till the golden color comes overall cooking it will take around 35 to 40 minutes on the medium flame if you make it much high flame there are chances to get the burn do the baking of bati by putting the lid over it. On one side the oil is ready. Now I will add some mustard seed. 1 teaspoon of white gram dal. A pinch of asafoetida. 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds. Add dry chilies, curry leaves, a ginger garlic paste and let it cook for some time. Go on stirring in between so that the masala will not burn. Add the chopped, fine chopped onion and let it cook for some time. Then add the tomatoes. Add 2 teaspoon of the red chilli powder. 2 teaspoon of the coriander powder, half teaspoon of the turmeric powder and let it cook for some time. Add the tomatoes and let it cook till it get the mushy. You can make it faster mushy by adding a little bit salt. But it is okay if you not add salt earlier also. It can take a little bit time. Add the dal to it. If it is not get mushed, you can make it mush by the spoon or you can use the any type of the blender to get the soft con consistency. Go on cooking all together till it get the soft. Add the water according to the need. But usually the dal is thin. You can add this the consistency according to your choice. Let it boil very well till the dal get frothy. You can add the tamarind water at this level and then let it cook once again. Let the dal boil until it get frothy, almost about 10 to 15 minutes. Then add 1 teaspoon of the masala to get the aromatic. Add the salt according to your taste or at least one and half spoon. Add a little bit of the jaggery according to your choice. Our dal is ready. Now it can be served by adding the seasoning once again. Now once again we will move to our bati. There is almost 10 to 15 minutes done. You can see the change in the color of the batis. It is a time to flip it. Flip the one bati one by one. Let it cook once again till 10 minutes so that it change the color. Cover it and cook it. Till the bati is getting cooked, we will make the tadka. In the tadka pan, take a 1, one to 2 teaspoon of the oil. 
let it cook very well once the oil is warm add the pinch of asa fetida 1 teaspoon of mustard seed 1 teaspoon of the cumin seed the red chilies get its flutter add the garlic paste to it and let it cook if you have the curry leaves you can add the curry leaves also add half teaspoon of the red chili powder directly pour this tadka over the dal which is prepared it will give the good aromatic smell and it enhances the taste of the dal uh, tremendously so just don't skip this it is a just a amazing taste by this method our dal is completely ready and now we can add some coriander leaves and it is ready to serve let's move to the our bati also it is 10 minutes done and the bati has cooked from the other side also now we will flip it once again you can see the golden color from the other side also let it cook for the almost 5 to 10 minutes when it is little bit soft remain that time take out all the bati you can see that the bati has taken the golden brown color all the batis had it now take the ghee in the another bowl and take one by one batis in the that ghee directly as the batis are warm it will directly absorb the ghee inside this which will keep it moist so this will be the enhance the taste as well as it makes the soft now it's the time to serve our delicious rajasthani dal bati especially the masala bati is ready to serve for watching such a similar healthy and tasty dishes keep watching the dr shoop's kitchen and if you like this recipe share and subscribe my channel which is free for everyone